Hi everyone and welcome back to Melbourne Railway Videos. I'm here today at Yarraville on the Werribee line. Got a comment, departing 625M is leading. And 605M is at the rear. It's a Werribee service. level crossing bells have actually stayed down here so must have another train coming it's a Sunday so the frequencies aren't particularly high but it's still higher than many other lines it looks like there's a train about every 10 minutes um, which is very good for Melbourne standards but you know it should really be the standard it's because the Werribee line is linked to the Frankston line at the moment so um, the Frankston line enjoys a 10 minute frequency, which I believe is mainly due to political <laughs> reasons. Um, but as a, as a consequence of being linked to it, the Werribee line also gets a 10 minute frequency. But when I say that, it's, it's more like, you know, you get a train going to Werribee, then one to Williamstown. Um, so it's only really every 20 minutes to Werribee itself. 677M's leading this comment. 641M is at the rear. Yeah, and on weekends, um, all Werribee Line trains run via our tonal loop. So all stations are served. It just means you get a slightly longer service. But it also means that there's no distinction between the, um, the services through to um, Altona and Laverton and just normal Werribee services as there are on weekdays. I've uh, got this comment from Hardy. So let me show you a bit around Yarraville. The first thing is this nice little pocket park. It might not have real grass, but it's still quite good. I'm not sure what this is. I wonder if it's an art piece or if it's just <laughs> it's been dumped here. It's hard to tell these days. Anyway, it's a place to sit, so that's something. It's quite trendy here, unexpectedly trendy. So yeah, this is um, just a random pocket park behind Platform 2. I'll show you Anderson Street in a moment. Now this is Anderson Street. It's a lovely local shopping mall, or shopping strip I should say. Um, very narrow though. It is a two-way street, but yeah, extremely narrow to drive down. This is the Anderson Street level crossing, which is set to be removed, hence this yellow sign, which has been seen all over Melbourne. Um, and by removing it, they're not actually replacing it with an overpass or an underpass or anything. They're just flat out closing it. Um, which, I mean, it doesn't look like it's going to affect too many cars here. It is a through route, but honestly, it's such a narrow road as it is that it begs the question, do they actually need um, through access over the level crossing? So on that basis, I don't think it's such a bad decision. Um, it's still quite unusual though, like most of the... Across most of Melbourne, they've been replacing level crossings, but here they're just like getting rid of it. Um, so yeah, this is, I'm across the level crossing now. Um, this is looking towards Werribee and Williamstown, of course. It's got nice old style picket fences, which I really like. It probably once had gates um, rather than just barriers but not anymore because that's pretty unsafe and you know, trains have crashed into them before. It's a very lively pub or party, you're hearing. And this is Yarraville Station to our left. It's slightly curved, it's got a nice old building. There's one more thing that I wanted to show you, you might have noticed it before, but there's actually an old track right here. It's 
that's ever been removed across the road. So I'd love someone to tell me more about this track. If anyone knows more about it, it's probably just an old parcel siding or something like that. It's not apparent where it led, perhaps into that, where that pocket park is now. I'm not sure if there were more sidings out that way or, or, or anything. I, I know that Spotswood had several sidings that have all been removed now. Um, but yeah, if anyone can tell me more about that extra track which has now been removed, please do so. I'd love to um, be informed about it. Alright, let's have a look at platform one. In fact, before we get there, there's a little bus interchange here. Very convenient access. And actually, a, a cafe or two nearby, which is closed at the moment. Um, it's not a huge bus interchange, but it's got shelter, which we like. And yeah, it's just walking towards platform one, which has got a nice old building. Yeah, there's a few bus routes here, so 431 to Kingsville, 432 to Newport, and looks like, yeah, 409 to High Point, that's a handy route. So just a few bus routes, but it's good that there is a dedicated interchange. Alright, let's head to Platform 1 at last. We've got a Williamstown service arriving. Siemens set. Four hundred and thirty nine M is leading. He will stop next at Spotswood, followed by Newport. North Williamstown, Williamstown Beach, and Williamstown. 714M is trailing. might just be able to make out the next train that's poking through towards the top of the screen. It's not too far away. That'll be the next city bound service or Frankston bound wherever it's going. Of course I should mention the signal box here. I don't think it's still in use. I think few of the signal boxes are actually in use anymore. It's all centrally done but it's still here so that's good to see that they've preserved it. I've got an extrapolis coming. Probably say this every time, but I love that you can see at least three out of the four types of metro trains on the Frankston and Werribee lines. We don't have any lines where you can see all four at the moment. This is probably the closest you'd get. Yeah, this is a Frankston service. interesting that it's displaying Flinders Street. Most of the trains have moved across to displaying Frankston, um, but yeah, I don't know if it's a driver preference thing or if it's just been programmed that way, but it is going to continue on to Frankston. Yeah, it'll stop next 
at Seddon, then Footscray, South Kensington, Flint, uh, got a bit eager there, North Melbourne, Southern Cross, Flinders Street, and on to Frankston. Alright, so that gives you a sense of what sort of shelter there is here on the um, Werribee Van platform. Not a ton, but it sort of does the trick, and it's nice and ornamental. But the main station building's on this side. Which I'll show you now. I just while we're walking there, there's a little sun theatre thing here. I'm not sure if that theatre is still in operation or if it's just a kind of legacy um, artwork. Yeah, this is the main shelter on platform one. Plenty of seats. And some truly undercover shelter. Come and driving. This will be a Werribee service, I suspect. It is indeed. 502 M's leading. And 531 M is at the rear. Okay, while we're, last, we're waiting for the last train, I'd like to give this station its rating. And its rating that I've come up with might surprise a few people, but I'm actually gonna give it an eight out of 10. I really like the station. I like its heritage aspects in terms of its station buildings. I like that it has a great little connection to the small shopping strip and the um, little pocket park. I think that's just a great thing to have um, in terms of blending it in with the local community. It's got a nice bus interchange. It's got some transit oriented development popping up. I'm sure there'll be some more soon. It's got even a car park to the left. I think it's just a really nice little um, station nestled into the community and I think a fair criticism of my channel is that I tend to only give the good ratings to the brand spanking new stations and I don't give enough good ratings to um, just sort of ordin ordinary seeming stations that haven't had a flashy upgrade in a while but deserve a good rating like Yarraville. That's not to say that there aren't criticisms of this station. One is that it's got a curved platform which um, is always inconvenient um, and indeed dangerous for passengers. Um, it could do with a bit of resurfacing but it's not too urgent and um, the tactiles on platform two could do with some replacing. Um, but yeah, overall I think Yarraville is quite a nice station. The other thing I'll mention is, as a slight criticism, is just how low down these chairs are. There is not much room at all between where your feet go and the seats themselves. So I guess it's great for small people, but I think for the average person, it is a bit too low down. And we've got that last train coming. I believe it's a Siemens based on the horn. This is, of course, the um, final video well, sorry, I should say, not the final video, the final station on the Werribee line that I hadn't filmed at, and I finally completed the video. So that's good, I've covered off, ticked off the Werribee line. There'll be more videos eventually on the Werribee line, but it's nice to complete a train line. That noise behind me is just the um, cameras winding themselves down, or the the things blocking the cameras winding themselves down so the driver can see all the way around the platform. Anyway, 721 M's leading. Thanks for watching this video and I'll see you in the next one.